In this video, I'm going to show you two quick and easy ways to add or install LUTs inside of Premiere Pro. Stick around. Tyler here from Video Editing with Tyler White. And if you want to learn how to edit video like a pro, start now by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. So once you have Premiere Pro opened up and all your footage imported and dropped down into your timeline, I just want you to go over here to the project section and right click, go to new item and select adjustment layer. And then I just want you to make sure that your adjustment layer matches your video settings and then just click OK. And for this first method, I'm just going to click and drag my adjustment layer over top of my footage. I'm going to select it and then go up here to color. From there, I'm going to go up under the Lumetri color tab on the right side and click on the actual creative tab. And then right where it says none, I'm going to click on this little drop down and select browse. And in the description, I provided my free personal LUT pack that includes my own personal LUTs that I use in my videos. And it also has step-by-step -step instructions in there that'll make it a lot easier for you to follow along with this tutorial. So if that's something that you're interested in, I recommend downloading that and then continuing on with the tutorial. But once you download that, you're then going to navigate to that folder. So once it's been downloaded and you've saved it to your computer, wherever you saved it at, I want you to go find that LUT pack, click on it, and then select either red rain or the teal and orange LUT that is provided in that pack. I'm just going to select the red rain LUT and just click open and that's going to apply that LUT. And if it's a little bit too much for your liking, you can always adjust the intensity. You can bring it up or you can bring it down. It really doesn't matter. I typically use this method whenever I'm testing out LUTs and if I decide, hey, I don't actually like the LUT that I'm using, I don't have to commit to installing it into the application itself. So it really works. It's a little bit faster and it really helps out whenever I don't want to use the LUT. I don't have to actually pull it from the application itself anymore. For the next method, I'm just going to close out Premiere Pro, click yes, and then I'm going to go over to my applications folder and then I'm going to locate Premiere Pro. So once I locate the Premiere Pro folder, I'm just going to click on it. And then the Premiere Pro application itself, I'm going to right click, click show package contents. Then I'm going to click on the contents and then I'm going to go down to where it says Lumetri. From there, I'm going to click on let's and then I'm going to click on create it. Once I've done that, I'm going to open up a separate table and then I'm going to locate my let pack, navigate to where those let's are located and I'm going to highlight both of them and I'm going to drag them over into the creative folder. And then this screen might pop up. You're just going to hit authenticate. Once that's been done, I can open back up Premiere Pro. And now I'm just going to grab that adjustment layer and drag it over top of one of my clips. And then I'm going to select it. I'm going to go over here again to the Lumetri color under creative and then click on this drop down. And now you can see that this LUT has actually been installed to the application itself and it is actually down in this little drop down menu. So red rain is here and then the teal and orange LUT is down here at the bottom. So I'm just going to select that red rain. And as you can see, it looks like so. This method is really good because it's quick, it's fast. And if you know that that LUT is a LUT that you want to continue to use, I strongly recommend actually installing it into the application like I just did. And then we'll also go over here. Let's just add this adjustment layer. We'll throw that teal and orange LUT on here. See how good it looks. Oh yeah, that looks pretty nice. See how it looks with the red rain. Oh, that looks good too. I'm going back here, add this adjustment layer to this one, add that teal and orange. And see how it just boosts those skin tones. That looks good. Continue to perfect your skills by checking out this video. Edit like a pro by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. I'll see you in the next video.